why don't you tell us, because the book isn't about the war, but your position in the war has had consequences. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Three bookstores canceled, one in San Francisco, one in Winneka, Illinois, right outside of Chicago, and then most recently Book Soup in Los Angeles, in uh, West Hollywood, I believe. And they pulled out due to uh, what they said were cons uh, security concerns. Um, I made it very clear, and my publisher made it very clear that I was willing to provide security. I would never expect a bookstore to pay for security. Um, and uh, they still they still felt uh, that it was too much of a risk. You know, I've been an advocate for Israel and uh, its right to defend itself. Um, uh, that doesn't mean that I'm not critical of the Netanyahu government or and that also doesn't mean that I don't empathize with the innocent Palestinians who are dying. You know, it doesn't mean I'm for war, but um, I've been vocal in in stating that Israel has a right to defend itself after it was brutally attacked on October 7th and unfortunately is dealing with an enemy that can't be negotiated with. Did you ever consider, let's hold it for a while? I mean, uh, no, I didn't. That's a good point. I, that's actually the first time that's ever been brought up. I mean, I guess hindsight is twenty twenty, but at the same time, I think I might have still decided to move forward as I did because I just think that this type of intimidation that's happening, I think it's pure Jew hatred. And I don't think it's pro-Palestinian. I think it's anti-Jew. And uh, I, I think it's important that we don't back down and don't change the course of how we're doing things just because people are coming at us. The rise in anti-Semitism has been very extreme since October 7th. And to me, you know, that has nothing to do with the war. And it seems to me that the war is sort of being used as an excuse to abuse the Jewish people.